Hey YouTube, it's Matt Padlow. Welcome to my channel. I'm gonna be going over another welding video with you, a jig video, a manufacturing, a metal fab video. So this morning, I woke up and my job was to produce the metal plates that weld to the metal column on floating staircases. You know, in the modern houses that you see the metal beam down the center and then you have the floating staircase, the concrete steps. Well, to hold up those concrete steps, or if you didn't want concrete, whatever other step that you want to put on there, you need a base, something to hold it up. I'm welding that base today and I'm fabricating that base today. Here is a pile of them that you can see. So there you can see them all on the table behind me that I've been working on all morning. And now we're gonna walk through how I went about doing it. So let's break down the first part of it, which is gonna be, of course, this part of the jig. This represents the column, the center that we are building these saddles to go around. So this is a drop from that beam. So if I can build the saddle around this, I know that it's gonna fit around the beam correctly. I don't want it to be too tight around the beam either. So I'll show you in a minute how I go about doing that. So first we're going to take this about six inch by 26 inch piece of quarter inch carbon steel, mild steel. And we're gonna put it in place right down here, as you can see on the table. And now the bottom plate is in place. The part of the metal that you're seeing inserted in the jig right now is the part where the concrete step is going to attach to. So you can see there was an oversized half inch hole punched here and then 24 inches on center to the other side, another oversized half inch hole punched here, 9 16 hole to be exact. How is this plate being aligned correctly in relation to this guy? It's bumping up against this back plate, and then on the side, this plate. They are tacked to the, to the welding table so they don't move. Strong hot tacks. Let's actually stop for a second and take a look at a finished one. This is what we're gonna end up making right here. And of course, to create the jig, I made sure that I first measured the first template that you make. You measure and you mark and you tack these side triangle supports to hold up the main saddles that wrap around either side of the staircase column. But once you have that first prototype that you then build a bit of the jig around, then you can pump out all the other ones that are similar to it pretty accurately. Because again, it's all being made off of the same jig. This is how metal manufacturers and anybody who manufacture pump out a lot of product quickly and accurately with high quality it's due to the same concept it's assembly lines it's jigs it's molds and once you get one you just start duplicating and replicating it's like cloning but it's our version of cloning a fabricator's version all right so now since i slipped in that bottom plate that i showed i'm now going to slip in the two side plates the saddle part so I slipped it in that side, and I'm putting it in this side. And you see how it bumps up against still that back plate piece that I have tacked there. The piece of flat on the back that I've tacked because I made it fat enough to where it's fatter than the bottom plate that is slipped in there for the saddle step. You get what I mean? Let me show you. Here's the thickness of this. Here's the thickness of this. This is thicker than this. So this bumps up against there, which then gives me an accurate stopping point. So you're going to want to have a bit of a space. So I found these thin pieces of metal. Again, just drops. And I'm gonna use those as my spacer so it'll be a hair loose around the main step, around the main staircase column that goes down the center. That way, we're not gonna have to wrestle with it once we're on site, yet it's still custom fit enough to where there's no obvious gap or anything we have to compensate for. So now, here's the finished thing. Let me actually turn this one like this. So now you see that the spacers are there, the sides are up, 
Now we clamp it. So I'm gonna take a C-clamp and I'm gonna put it in place. You'll see that in a minute. One step that I just realized I missed is you're supposed to pop a lawnmower C-clamp on the bottom plate so it doesn't scoop. So let me do that right now. So now since that is on, we now can, and this is clamped, now we have a base plate that is in place and aligned properly. We have the side parts of the saddle propped up and clamped and spaced properly. Now we're gonna do the support tab. So we have these little triangle pieces. And this one was probably the hardest part of the jig to tack together. I just used two thick pieces of flat that were dropped. All right, so I have the backstop face of this that's flat. I have the support arm that's holding up that face. So then I can slide up this triangle piece and then clamp, oops, the clamp. You don't want the clamp to move it. You slide it up and then you clamp that triangle piece so it doesn't move. You're trying to keep in mind as you're doing this where you're gonna weld. So you're gonna want to make sure your clamps are a little higher off the plate. We are gonna only be able to like fully weld one side of this. The back side, as you can see, is gonna have to be welded later, but that is okay because I don't want to overheat the plate any more than I already am due to it being quarter inch thick plate. I'm welding it pretty hot with a MIG welder. So it's not a bad thing if you're gonna do, tack everything up, weld one side fully, cause that's how you can access it with the jig. Cause you can see, I can access the front of the jig and then you do the other side later once the piece has cooled down a bit. So let me go ahead and clap up the other side for you. And here is the finished jigged up piece. And then I'm going to tack and I'm going to weld.